I love Ugandan politics so much, guys. You know, it's so fun to to be a politician in Uganda. You know, so uh, yeah, the question comes to Tongato on uh, the front line. You know that um, why are you leaving FDC? He said, if the heat of the Sahuna is too much, and you saw somebody coming out with a blanket from the Sahuna, you don't know how much time they were there in the Sahuna, and. The, 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 the thing is, the worst you can do to the person is to tell them quickly to, to rush back to the sound <laughs> because you don't know the heat they can absorb. <laughs> so so it, it's amazing, guys, you know. And so here they wanted him. Um, Sabiti wanted him, the moderator on NBS Frontline, he wanted him to explain why. You know, and of course, you cannot zero down to only that the heat of the sauna on 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 an uh, honorable person who is leaving one party, FDC, to go and form another party. He said within two weeks he will come out with one. You know, he will come out and tell everybody. So he, they were uh, they asked him by the way, why do, why are you not putting on a red beret? He said. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm putting on a red underpants, and you, unless you want me to undress in the in the in the TV or in the public. <laughs> maybe he's wearing a red underpants. Who knows? We don't know. So uh, we cannot undress in the public. You know, I just love our politics. Have we transformed or have we changed? You know. Since when did it become okay, by the way, for us to joke about each other and laugh, you know? Um, because it used not to be there, by the way. You know, the regime, the NRM regime has been there. And of course, good or bad is a discussion for another day. But I'm telling you, people are tired. The people power movement has come up and is sweeping down the carpets of many of the original party activities, the diplomatic uh ways of doing politics is no longer mattering now. People are identifying themselves with people power and the umbrella is on, you know. The unit the the the, the national unity party. <laughs> Even when um Ofono says they have gone to the Muchari to resurrect a party, the the new uh, whatever it is <laughs> so, <laughs> because there was a party like that anyway those days. But that's another discussion for another day as well. So, but I love our politics. The politics is good, you know. We have um, Otafire and uh, oh, General Otafire on the front line and Odongato, you know. And of course, uh, we as well see them, you know, joking. The land grabbers, Njeru land in question. <laughs> so, you know, the land grabbers, who are they? General. This one next to me, by the way, he was sitting next to him. <laughs> the other people. Now, when it came to the gold issue of trading gold, you know, Utafiri said, I do my business now outside of Uganda to avoid people like you who don't go to. <laughs> you know, so I, I don't have a lot of things to answer, a lot of questions because you people make our lives very difficult. That's why now I do my business out. Now I remember also those days when when when, when, when oh, General Tafaya or Tafiri said as well to Ma when they were on the on WBS by then, you know the TV WBS and they were still talking about gold trading when he was still in parliament. And so when they were discussing, by the way, that debate um, ended up, they had to close and chase them away from the studio. <laughs> you know, um, Honorable Ma was, you know, pointing at him on the gold trade as well. You know, gold was actually taken from our neighbor. So <laughs> that's another thing as well. So here, he, Honorable Nobat Ma appointed this to him. And then Otafiri said, by the way, if I'm trading on the gold, uh, is it for your mother? <laughs> <laughs> and you know they quarreled a lot, and you know they had to chase them away from from the show. You know then, so that's a, another one. But here, we don't have to talk with the Tafiri, honorable people, because you know I love our politics. You know, and so we don't have to say. It. Um, by the way, General Tafiri used to be my friend. By the way, he used he even told me sometimes back that you know. I am I'm a, a young man with a bright future. By the way, I, 
I, I believe that. I mean, I know I'm a young man with a bright future. He used to be my friend. I don't know if we are still friends, but I'm talking about that Dr. says, but you're my friend. Unless we need to maybe first renegotiate and talk and find out if they are still friends. <laughs> I love our politics. It's just amazing, guys, you know. The politics is nice, you know. So... Here comes, uh, you know, the heat of the sauna, Odogato, it's explaining to the people to know the reason why he left. They, he has been on the, on, the, on the forefront of the, a lot of riots within Kampala, the days when the many tear gas in Kampala, you know, uh, the walk to 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 work, Toji Kwatako campaign, he has been there on the forefront, but he has not been rewarded, you know. And so he feels he has been cheated within the party of FDC, and so he has to move on. And so the FDC, by the way, which used to be there, the, the, the support has continually come down. You know, we used to have, for example, in the in the uh, the the side of the eastern. You know, we used to have uh, 16 MPs. You know, in the Tesla region, in the other side. And then it came to six, and then it came to three currently in parliament. So that shows you that FDC support has also come down. And you know, Odomato is saying the FDC we started initially with the people who we formed FDC, they used to be the one which was with the force, it's no longer this one. So that's why I'm leaving. By the way, I'm going to uh, alert the world that I am going in for another one. So, here Salam Musumba comes, Honorable Salam Musumba says, you know, you people, you people, we are a robust party, we are so powerful, and we have not moved, you know. <laughs> so, you know but that explains to you, you're in the same uh, spot, people are talking, Odomato is leaving, you know, it's not only, oh, by the way, Honorable Odomato, you know, we saw as well, um, Okumu Reagan has not gone to take nominations card, of course, a few years and few months ago, you saw Mugesha Muntu walking away. We saw Kasano Wadri moving away. You know, the genesis is much. You know, you don't even see Ugengala Tigu, by the way, professor. He has not also gone to pick nomination form. You saw the other lady as well being blocked technically. So the internal democracy of FDC is another thing you can't talk about. But, you know, yeah, Salam is honorable. I respect her so much. You know, she's saying, we are robust party and we are not going there. You even saw Honorable Paul Muiro going away, you know, to ANC. So, there are so many, you know, but of course I'm telling you the support for that robust party, which they say has continually come down for political scientists, for political analysts, to, 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 to say the truth as the truth, you know. Even in a robust party, if you explain by your own words, but the genesis of it all, you can just see the exodus, it's just mad. It is ongoing, and so somebody to be at the forefront for activism and stuff like that, not to be awarded. I think he, he, he thinks, of course, he, he deserves better. He, the same energy they used to, you know, he, they move with from uh, DP now in whatever, you know, people are moving from here and there, you know. So Sabiti was trying to, uh, the moderator was trying to question Odonga at all, seriously, you, you know, I mean, you cannot give one that reason for you leaving, you know, the party and stuff like that. And then he's saying, by the way, you are, you are asking me a lot of questions. Let me also ask you, when are you going to pick a denomination uh, uh, paper for running as an MP? Then Johnson says, no, you, you think uh, everybody is supposed to be an MP? No, I think some of us, we have got to, you know, you know being the desktop people, and we analyze the general young stuff from the paper. So everybody cannot be MPs, you know, that, that's the truth of the matter. And, and when you hold some people account, when you hold some people to really explain some things, when they go wild, just like Oswald, somebody was holding, you know, 
uh, Honorable Tsala Musuma on the FDC issues, a lot of issues within there, you know, the internal democracy, they were interrogating her really. They said, then she said, ah, you people are also, you know, you desktop uh, analysts, you have better come to our offices. Our offices is open. Come and you check that the party we are talking about, the robber's party, is still there. Because for a party to exist, you know, we have the structure, we have the meetings, we have everything. Na, 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 na. You know, so, you know, that's, that, that, that's something, you know, she doesn't want to agree. But of course, it's not only her, you know, a lot of us Africans, we don't want to accept facts. And that is the thing, you know. So, of course, when I was telling Adomo Tau, you know, I, it's, it, it, it's so bad, you Africans, you quickly take the dead to the grave so fast, you know, you know, th this is the LDC party which brought you up and stuff like that for quite some time and you have been the people who have been at the forefront of the, the benefit of this, you know, all the many times he was elected on FDC ticket and he has been there. And it's sad that they quickly throw away the dead. You know, but of course it's a normal thing to move from one party to another and so we, 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 we have to accept that, you know, and sometimes, you know, and you have to say, yeah, all, you know, my brother has uh, agreed and he can move on and I wish him the best, you know. So, the matter says, by the way, I have my paper on my chest and you're talking about the robber's party. <laughs> I have been there only one week I've gone. I wrote the, 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 the letter for my resignation three years ago to leave the party, you know, and, and, and when I had to give the same wordings that I wrote, I did not even put a comma or a full stop or add it there, you know. They were all the same, so I had to just give it in. Why is it that every year, every now, even the people who are not in the forefront of fighting those stuff and stuff like that, activism on the streets, you know, they get the offices. Why is it that every time is the Nandalas and the whatever? But for me, I think it's good. Nandala is a good guy because um, they gave him the, the twenty million. He took it to a health center. He had a ten more million, and and that is where we need to take our politics for, you know, to support the real need, the people. If not education, support the health. Because if you fall sick, you will go there. You know, UDCB was built so many years ago, you know, by the the Amin regime or let me say Obote and then Amin's regime or others were even there before. And most of these hospitals, nothing has come out from NRM, you know. 17 uh, properties for Uganda you, was left in the, U, in the UK by Amin's regime. As we speak now, it's only remaining three, you know. So the rest, they have sold them away, you know. They have shame, they are shameless, man. I love these politicians of the NRM regime. Shameless to sell things that are not built by yourself. Where is the UEB? Where are all these parastatals that have sold them, you know? Government is continuing to hire, you know, things expensively from other places. But of course, they're hiring also from the same honorable people within the system, you know, because they, have, they need the money and the money revolves around them, you know? Even when you get it from out, our money revolves around them. So, they, they, of course, the cheaper accommodations for government, uh, stuff like that there. No more. Many through privatization that have been sold away. You know, you sell things you have not built in your regime. What has the regime of seven it is done anyway? You know, that's why I love our politics, you know. And here comes the Iron Lady, Honorable Miriam Atembe, clashing with Salam Sumba. I love our politics, guys, you know. What is it she was saying, <laughs> you know? <laughs> This woman, I've been controlling my temper, you know, you, you know, don't even, don't talk to me, your time is finished, you know, since the no goes on, by the way, <laughs> you know, and by the way, don't forget one time she said we need old men who are involved in rape and defilement, they should be castrated, <laughs> so that is another thing, you know, you know, it's, anyway, they, there's a bit of water in it, anyway, yeah, so, but that is the thing, and yesterday they were in a clash of, you know, you left the party because of me. And she said, no, Maria Matembe said, no, 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 
I did not have a, a, a FDC card, you know. By the way, I didn't even know you existed. <laughs> was fire yesterday, you know. But, you know, I love our politics. And we see our uh, Honorable Novak Mao joking with Opono Pono. By the way, you need to appreciate the government of Museveni for, for letting you at least have a voice to speak. You know, even if we don't have uh, medicine in the hospitals, you don't have a, a good employment for the youth, as even if every year we send a lot of kids outside of the universities within Uganda, you know, you need to appreciate the government of Museveni for allowing you people to at least be able to speak. You know, because we see, you know, Honorable Norbert Mao saying, you know, by the way, we, we used to think like Ono Pondo was not born uh, normally, you know. Uh, we think it was maybe fabricated, no, not, not until when they were speaking about uh, Opono Pondo, mom was sick and of course he said, uh, by the way, we wish a quick recovery, of course she needs to be a quick recovery for even me, you know, but uh, the thing is, <laughs> When has it become for us easy? Have we transformed or have we changed? That we can joke about each other and we can laugh, you know, you know thinking our opponent was maybe uh, fabricated somewhere, not born normally. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it, you know. And of course, we don't have to coming on, uh, with a, on a suit with, the, you know, the, the red and, and white strips, you know, and then uh, uh, also is. That's a graph book, you know, you need to plot things. <laughs> but also forgetting that him, he also come with, you know, these are the clothing for the youth, you know, with the, like overall even, you know, something. I love our politics. Have we transformed? Have we changed? Since when, by the way, has it come easy for us to joke about each other and laugh about each other? You know, open up one of the sayings, you know, FDC was formed as a, uh, a remnant. The people actually who, who were rejected, they rejected ones in all parties. And that's where they went to form FDC. Most of them came from the NRM and uh, stuff like that. But you know, the people who were rejected from all the places went to form FDC. <laughs> I mean, uh, we change or uh, we transform, you know, there's a lot really in Ugandan politics and I love our politics guys, you know, so it's, 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 it's that, you know, and of course, what I'm says as well, you know, uh, we, uh, the people from the bush, you know, we believe in people who have been tested, by the way, Mao is tested, but Bobby Wine is not yet tested, you know. But people who are sweeping around, by the way, around all the carpets of those diplomatic, uh, uh, whatever, the diplomatic politics matter no more. We are in the ghetto. That's why even President has gone into the ghetto to get the... The, the the VP of the former ghetto for Bobby Wine now in you know the Kusasira whoever the you know we want to identify with the ghetto the politics of the ghetto you know they are busy in the ghetto now you know because everybody wants election is near by the way so you need everybody to come around if ghetto is not going if parliament is not going to the ghetto ghetto had to come to the parliament course that is Bobby Wine. So he has come with a lot of force. And by the way, normal about Norbert Mao jokes and says, if you're in the pool swimming and then somebody jumps in the the pool and if you're not strong enough you will be thrown out. And of course we are seeing displacement now in the pool, you know. Bobby Wine has come with people poor with a lot of force and so some of them if they're not strong, if they don't hold on to the 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 the, the, the the, the walls of the pool, even the Museveni, they will run and go away. <laughs> you know, because some of them are even agreeing that, you know what, all the cities, the building we are seeing around the cities and stuff like that, you know, you know uh, who are the people holding, who are the people, who are the owners of this building, if not the undersecretary, the accountant. But sure, the accountants cannot have those such of buildings, you know. But anyway. It's another discussion for another day. Perhaps maybe they got the money from loan something and to build. So, but we need to know the sources of the wealth to build those big apartments and stuff like that. But of course, Uganda, of course, we don't need to know about it anyway. For us, we just do it because we are the one in charge. So, you know, they do it like that. You know, we, I love our politics, man. You know, as you know, since.
just when did it become okay for us to joke about each other and you know just laugh with each other and see that we are going and one time of course honorable Elias Lukwago was there in the TV show he was explaining the stuff you know about the COVID exit plan he said I know Museveni has a warlord he knows very well how to how to do things in a war situation but they don't have a clear exit plan so he has to do something now and he has to come back and forth to clear up the air sometimes misinformation goes to the implementers and they are to you and recall back the letters they have sent to the police down there a lot of suckers guys no clear exit plan but they are there of course covid came but of course what's the new normal we don't even know maybe perhaps they were saying we will buy for you tvs and radio to educate you how to put a mask and mass also talk about three months within the, the, the lockdown to come so I don't know how many they have been given out as well, so, but I love our politics, you know? you know. So, the things are many within our politics, but we have to move on, you know? And we see when, um, um, you know, Honorable Maria Zuka was saying, police, 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 don't joke about our constitution. Don't treat it as if it's a mere piece of paper, Simon. I beseech you. You know, and so the thing is, anyway, it's not Simon joking with the constitution, has been already been joked about. You know, most of these MPs that have been there and they have been joking about with it, they have been running on it. You know, giving you 20 million, 30 million, you know, 50 million, you they throw away age limit, you throw away term limit. You know, that's the politics we are in, you know, and so here, Dobad Mao comes in to explain the stuff. You know, he says. By the way, not everything can be engulfed in the law. Of course, he's a, a lawyer, but of course he believes in law, but not everything can be engalvanized in law. And so, uh, Honorable Arias says, no, please, Honorable Mao, please don't vulgarize this. And he reached a point where Honorable Mao said, you know what, um, for, for, for the, you cannot even in the Hitler's uh, kill, uh, killing, things were done systematically, you know. And everything cannot be into law, you know. But things were done. So he said, no, don't realize and don't travel. take this thing to tribal classes and stuff like that. Because anyway, he's one of them who believe that and actually cannot be, you know, the DP general in Buganda. You know? So, you know, but that's another thing, you know. But, and then we see the, the fact that um, they were, they were there and, 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 and of course, you know, Ria says, don't tribal, don't take this to tribal, these things, because we are just about this debate. And then, of course, his mom said, by the way, if we had a litmus paper, some of you would test positive for being tribalistic or being involved in tribalism. And even Honorable Salomon Suba said, even, even me, even me, you know, even me, I, 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 I would test positive on a TV, you know. I mean, that's the politics of Uganda, you know, and they're proud to be, you know, identified as uh, tribalistic characters on a TV, national one. Oh, my God, you know. Oh, my, Uganda, we have come a long way, eh? So there we are, and we are going. But the mindset has to be put right. That's what Maria Matemba was saying. Police, police, let's do the right things. And, you know, we need to have the mindset change differently. And we think that change can, be, can happen in Uganda, and it will come, and it will happen. That some of these people will go away, and NRM will be the end one day.